Welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we're going to talk about navigation. And when I say navigation, it's navigation of your main screen. Uh, how you see the plans in the main window and how you can change those views and modify that so you can go back and forth easily between multiple views. So let's get to that. Okay. In one of our prior sessions, we talked about uh, the Pages uh, window and the Bookmarks window in our Navigation pane off to the left. And just as a reminder, your Navigation pane may not be in the same place as mine, and these are all customizable. So, uh, if, you, if you want it like mine, you can move them over, you can create them, and you can save those views. Uh, but just don't get hung up about where my panes are or my windows are versus what you may have on your plan swift so you can move them around however you like plan swift doesn't care all right the main window as i like to call it is where you're doing your takeoff where you're seeing your plan um, when you bring up typically it will when you bring up plan swift and go to that drawing typically it'll bring up the whole view or the whole plan uh, depending on how your settings are in Plan Swift, it may bring up um, a zoomed-in view. And there again, that's, that is a settings selection we'll talk about when we get to our settings uh, tutorial. So by default, you may come up to a full uh, page or full view of your plan. If you haven't figured it out by now, this little target icon that your mouse controls uh, with the horizontal and vertical lines is how you navigate in Plan Swift. If I scroll the wheel forward, I zoom in. If I scroll the wheel back, I zoom out. If I hold down the right mouse button, it goes into pan mode and allows me to move around the drawing, whether I'm zoomed in or not. Uh, once you get into takeoff, you'll find that you're using that left and right mouse button all the time, zooming in all the time. And it just just takes something to get used to. But besides that, how do you use the icons to navigate around? You've probably seen these icons that say zoom, fit page, zoom in, zoom out, and pan. Well, the pan icon is just like hitting the right mouse button. I hardly ever use it because I just go to the right mouse button. But the other four are very useful. And I'll show you why. If I'm zoomed into a page, one of the fastest ways for me to get completely out, rather than zooming all the way out, is just to hit, I hit fit page, and it zooms all the way out for me. Zoom in and zoom out is just like using your scroll button, but slower in my regard. You can use those to zoom in and zoom out. I find that the scroll wheel works faster. So the fit page has got a lot of use. What does the zoom does? Let's say you wanted to zoom in for a particular view for saving it for a bookmark. I want to zoom in to this footing right here and just that footing. I can hit that zoom icon and I highlight just outside of that footing and I get a perfect zoom which I now can save as a bookmark. And it could be anything, a table, whatever. It just allows you to, de to define the zoom before you zoom. So, basically, that's what these five icons do. This is your navigating around in the main window. And these allow you, to, these add function to that. So, uh, if you're like me, you've used the mouse more than you use these functions. It's great. Uh, they do basically the same thing, just in a different way. All right. So, you've got this window uh, that you're, and this foundation window. And you find that you're going back and forth to another window quite often between the two. Well, I can click on that other one that I want to be going to and then click back to it or hit the back button under home. I use the back and forward buttons quite a bit. It basically just says I'm going to go to the back one, I'm going to go back one step or one view, or I'm going to go forward one view. Uh, it's no different if I just then just clicking on the uh, plan names themselves. But if I am going back and forth quite a bit, 
a lot of times I'll use what they call a tab in this view. So I'll get this one set and I want to make a new tab. Well, how do you do that? Anywhere on the plan, just right click, don't hold it down, just right click and hold it, uh, or don't hold it, and you'll see new tab. Click on that and it asks you to select a page. So I'm going to select the other page. Now I've got tabs going here. So if I'm working between multiple sheets back and forth a lot, rather than have to hit the navigation buttons back and forward or clicking over here and going back and forward, I just click back and forward on my tabs. A very useful function, especially if you're going back and forth during the takeoff session. You'll find that, that this, is, this is really a great tool. I didn't use it until just a few years ago, and I've been using plans for more than 15 years. I don't remember when they actually created using these tabs, but I probably should have known about it the day one that they did, because uh, now when I'm doing the takeoff and I'm, I'm going back and forth between multiple sheets, I use it all the time. And you can pretty much fill up the screen with tabs. So I'm going to do another one. Uh, just pick up, uh, let's say, the roof detail screen. So now I've got three tabs running. Well, I want, a, I want a fourth one. New tab. There again, just pick your sheet. And now I can go back and forth to all these ones without having to go to the Pages window, without having to use any of the navigation buttons or bookmarks. I'm just all day long staying in that. And then once I don't want to be in there anymore, I can either, if I close the job, it closes these windows, obviously. But I also can right-click and just say, close on any one of these, and it closes that tab. And once I close down the second tab on anything, then it just goes, it closes, because the only tab left is the one I'm in. So if you need to create uh, views that you're going back and forth, Remember this tab feature. Uh, it's a great way to navigate around in Plan Swift. So let's talk about a few other ways to navigate and improve your, your screen sessions, as I want to call it, or your takeoff. You may find that in some, in some cases that you don't have enough uh, screen area, uh, depending on the monitors you're running, or depending on the resolution of the display. Uh, Besides opening up new tabs, which we just talked about, you can also open up areas of the screen. I don't know if you notice this, but the navigation panes have these little double arrows on each side that basically allows you to minimize that pane. So if I click over here, and these, uh, this pane is actually a combination of two windows, pages and bookmarks. So if I click on that arrow, uh, double arrow, it minimizes it. You can still see it off to the side there. You see the pages bookmarks. But it allows me to have more screen area for my plan or my takeoff. Same thing goes for my navigation pane on the right. I've got a double arrow and I can minimize that. So that is one way to get more area on your screen uh, and manipulating your views uh, without having to sacrifice anything. You're not having to close a window or get rid of a window. It's just minimized. You click on that, it comes back. You click on over here on the right, it comes back. Now, it's only temporary when you click on it. So you have to, if you want it back permanently, you have to click on those arrows again. But at any point, if you want to just see what's in that navigation pane temporarily, just go over and click on it and it will show. Click it back, it disappears again. So the other thing you can do with the, with the navigation panes is uh, resize them. Uh, sometimes I'll find that the information in navigation panes is uh, too much or too little. In other words, I'm not seeing enough to read what's there, uh, or I really, it's got more space than I need. So uh, with either the navigation panes, you can take your mouse and put it on the uh, vertical bar and you can size those navigation panes. And when you size those navigation panes, you'll see that the uh, your main screen or your view is going to resize that with it. So if you're not seeing enough of window size for your main view, you can you can resize those navigation panes, and they'll stay that size until you size them again. Or like we talked about, 
you can hide them and get the full screen just for your takeoff. So that's basically Navigation 101 for Plan Swift. Uh, it's not hard. Uh, just remember a lot of things you can do with the mouse. You just have to get used to using the left and right and going back and forth. But uh, in no time, I'm sure you'll be a master of it. See you next time.